Question, if you could have all of God's powers, what do you think you'd do? Cure cancer, stop war, end all human suffering? I bet you there's one thing that you would not do. You probably would not volunteer to go to the cross. Okay, but consider, in the person of Jesus, God does walk this earth. And he works miracles, he teaches like nobody else in history, but he really shows us who he is. When he takes up his cross, that's where he shows us what love means. My life for yours. You know where else he shows us who he really is? The Blessed Sacrament. Totally vulnerable, totally humble, totally given. Just like on the cross. And so in the Gospel today, you hear Jesus try to tell this to the people, you know, I am the bread of life, and they have a very hard time with that. See, here's the thing, when the Messiah came, the people expected him to be three things, okay? Three things, powerful, wise, and holy. And Jesus is all those things, right? And his miracles and his preaching, teaching the Pharisees a thing or two, but it's on the cross and in the Blessed Sacrament that he shows us just how deep his wisdom and his holiness and his power really are. God's ways are not our ways. And we need to pray that God will transform us into his image. Archbishop Fulton Sheen once said, reflect for a moment and you'll realize you have more temptations in the course of a day to be good than you have to be bad. And here's your challenge for the day. Next time you feel that tug of selfishness uh, towards a person in a situation during the course of your day, just offer this simple prayer. Just say this three times. Lord, form me into your image. Lord, form me into your image. And may God who's begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Amen.